Hey everyone, it's Angela Nidig, your Sensi Independent Consultant again. I wanted to make a video because I wanted to share with you the Bring Back My Bar for July 2016. Now, if you don't know what that is, couple times a year, um, Sensi has us, everyone, vote for their favorite scents that are no longer available, and the ones that get the most votes get to come back for a month to purchase. Usually it's only 20. This time they surprised us and gave us five more scents, so there's 25 total this time available for July 2016 and then they go back wherever lost discontinued Scentsy bars go so I wanted to read you the um, names and descriptions and I also have testers which they haven't done for us in the past but this time we got to get testers so we can smell them if we haven't had them before. Now I did have some of these testers in my discontinued drawer, but I now have all of them. So I'm going to sniff them and read the description to you and tell you what I think about them. And then if you'd like to order them you can do that all right so the first one on the list is amber road it is a brown color there I got the now these are just the mini testers but they'll work and I feel like it's kind of a man scent it's not and I don't know if it was in that category before, but it smells good, but it just feels like manly and woodsy. The description for Scentsy that they have for Amber Road, it says, open a box of treasure, handpicked from exotic lands to discover glowing red cedar and rushness incense. It smells good. I like it. All right, the next one is Apple Press. It pretty much describes itself in the name. And it smells like apples. The description from Scentsy is the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of the summer. Oh, wow, yeah. If, you, if you're ever smelling wax and you can't really smell it, give it a little rub, it warms it up a little bit, and then you get your scent, just so you know. That's why you always see us doing this stuff, because it brings out the... Now I can, yeah, it smells mostly like apples, but I guess now that I read the description, I can kind of get a hint of roses. That is Apple Press. Oh. And it's red, in case you didn't see that. The next one is bubblegum, and it's pink, and it smells like bubblegum. I think it smells like Bazooka Joe bubblegum. If you're old enough to remember that, that's what it smells like to me. The Scentsy description is... The true scent of baseball card bubblegum. Sugar and cotton candy with a hint of mint. I can't really smell any mint, but I just smell lots of bubblegum. And it smells like Bazooka Joe. So, that's really good. Okay, next one is Cherry Limeade. Ooh, it is... A reddish color 
Ooh, it smells like one of those fizzy fountain drinks that you would get somewhere. It, its description is zesty, key lime, sweet cherry, and juicy berry. A delicious scent reminiscent of a soda fountain drink. I did not read these beforehand. If I did, I didn't remember what they said. But yeah, that does... That's weird how they just match what you smell before you even read the description. Alright, Cranberry Mango. It's kind of a darker red. Almost a maroon color. And I'm not a cranberry person, so I can't tell you. It doesn't, it's not bad. But, um, I guess, yeah, it smells like cranberries. The description is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. Yeah, that's good. I'm just trying, I was trying to decide if I could smell any of the other stuff. I smell just cranberry, but I guess there's a hint of other things. I just, my nose doesn't smell that. The next one is Enchanted Mist. And it is a white, not pure white, like a off-white color. Hmm. I rub this one. I can't really tell what it smells like. Minty, I think. Hmm. It smells good, but I can't place any certain note. But here is Scentsy's description. Romantic blend of juicy apples Enhanced and sweetened by rose petals and rich jasmine. It's not perfumey. Maybe a tad little bit, but not like um, where you would get a headache. I don't think so. If you can handle. It's nice. The next one is called Huckleberry Heaven, and it is purple. Can you see the purple color? Oh my goodness, I like this one a lot. Hmm, I think it smells like grape jelly, but I don't know if it if I would say grape but it smells like jelly possibly the description is smells like grandma's huckleberry jam there you go I like that one I'm definitely getting that one the next one is called Jet Set Go. This one was in the first catalog that I sold out of. And I actually still have the laundry soap. It doesn't come in, in it anymore. But this one is one of my favorite ones. And I don't even know, honestly, what... I can't place any scents myself. I just like it. It smells good, and I'm glad it's back, and I'm, I'm going to order this one. In Jet Set Go says, Jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. That's a nice mix. Oh, excuse me. That's a nice mix. I not a, I don't dislike vanilla, but I don't love it. But this, I don't know. I just all of that 
what I said mixed together. It's just, it's nice. And I don't know if I showed you the color. It's a tealish green color. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I could sniff it all night, but you know what? There's more to, to um, talk about. Juicy peach. Well, that smells... Oh, I'll drop my keyboard. That is a pinkish peachy color. And, well, it smells like peaches. Straight up peaches. And that's the description. It says mouth-watering, freshly picked, sweet, juicy peach. So, yeah, it's... I wish you could smell it. You would love it if you're a peach fan. I like it. It does smell just like fresh peaches. The next one is called Lemon Coconut Chiffon. And oh, I'm supposed to show you the color before I smell. I can't help myself. Sorry. It's yellow, like a lemon, and it smells like, maybe like a lemon, maybe a lemon pie, lemon pie, with a little bit of coconut, I guess. Oh no, I like it. It's not like super lemony, It's it does have a mixture of, the, I like it. It's a fresh, clean scent, like, when you just clean your house with all, if you use, like, pine salt or, like, lemon stuff, that's what it smells like. But, it smells, well, I don't know, I just think it smells more like a lemon pie. We'll go with that. You get all kinds of things going through your head of what it brings back, you know, different memories or different scent. But yeah, I'm going to say it smells like lemon pie. And the description for Oler Scentsy is melt in your mouth lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. It's pretty close to a pie, right? Yeah, that's lemon coconut chiffon. This one is called... Orange Dreamsicle, and it is a light orangish color, and, oh, you know, I was never a big fan of orange, any orange flavored things or orange smelling things, but Scentsy has got me on this orange because I like their Sunkissed Citrus, and... They're oodles of orange. There's a, some other ones too. But I never really cared for orange. But let me tell you. Sensi, I think, changed my mind. This orange dreamsicle smells like, to me, it smells like one of those orange push-ups that you used to get from the ice cream man. Or your little dairy store or whatever. That's what this smells like. And, oh, I like it. It makes me hungry. The description from Scentsy is a classic combination of fresh orange swirled with vanilla cream. It's making me want a push pop. I'm going to stop smelling it because it's that's what it's doing. Okay, the next one is called Peach a la Mode. And it's a peach color. It's a little bit of a darker peach than the juicy peach one. But that's the color of it. Mm. And it's more peachy for sure. It's definitely more peachy than the juicy peach. <laughs> There's something else in there that I can't place. So I'm just going to read you the description. It says... Fresh from the orchard, ripe and juicy fruit stand peaches simmered in sugar and topped with a fluffy dollop of sweet vanilla cream. Yum. 
Ooh, yeah, that's a nice one. Okay, the next one is called Perk Me Up. And do I have to even tell you it's brownish color? And what do you think it smells like? Coffee! All my coffee people, it smells like when you're brewing your fresh cup of coffee in the morning or whenever you drink it. And it straight up smells like coffee. Oh my gosh. I'm a big coffee drinker, so this this is nice. And the scent description is simply the most perfect cup of coffee you'll ever experience. A strong brew of Guatemalan coffee beans and just a touch of hazelnut. Okay, next. Red candy apple. It's red, very red. It smells like apples. Maybe not. I don't know if it smells like candy apples. But it smells like apples. The description is Macintosh apples, raspberry jam, and strawberry milk with brown sugar and cotton candy. It's a nice mixture. There you go. That's red candy apple. The next one is one of my favorites that I used to order before I was a consultant. It's called Rio Beach. It is a off-whitish color. And since I already know what it smells like because I've ordered it before, to me it smells like pina colada. That's what it smells like. And this is a good one to mix. I used to mix this with I forget what it was, but it was really awesome. The scentsy description is the scent of sun, surf, sand, and samba, coconut milk, tropical fruit, and tonka bean. Rio Beach, one of my favorites. I'm gonna, I'm go over my limit. Hopefully, I can make this whole video and put it on YouTube. Okay, next one is called Route 66. It is a light greenish color. And I think this was in the first catalog I sold. And I believe that it was in the man scent. Scentsy man. And it smells like a really nice cologne. And this was a pretty popular one. I think a lot of people were upset when it came out of the catalog. But you can get it again. The description is a windswept, bleh, a windswept drive in a convertible, and an exhilarating breeze of citrus, herbs, and musk. It's not overpowering, cologne. -y. It's just nice. All right, next one is serene green, and it's a very light green color. You can see the sticker on the back. It's not quite that green, but it's a very light green. And it's a very clean, very clean, fresh scent. And I can't tell you what's what I think's in it. I just think it's a very clean, fresh scent. It says deep green lime leaves, crisp verbena, and tart citrus zest and a bright, happy fragrant fragrance. Ugh, I'm getting tongue tied. That's nice. I keep putting it up there like you can smell it, but you can't. But you can if you want to get a hold of me. Yes, serene green. And this one is self-explanatory. The name says it all. Simply lemon. It's yellow, of course. And it smells just like a lemon. Pure crisp lemon. That's the description. And that's what it smells like. Lemons. Okay. The next one is Surfer Chick. It's pink.
think I'm getting nose blind. I can't tell anymore what they smell like. I feel like it's kind of fruity, kind of tropical to me. I don't really know. So I'm just going to read you the description because I can't place anything. It says, bubbly lemon tonic and guava frolic with sweet cherries and blackberries in this youthful scent. Yeah, I guess I did say it was fruity. Fruity and... Yeah. Alright. The next one is Vanilla Suede. It's a brown color. And... To me, it's kind of smells like it's got a, some man cologne, kind of woodsy. Yeah, that's my interpretation of it. Sensi says it is a classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice, a subtly masculine fragrance. It's not bad. I like it. I don't know if I'll order it, but I'm definitely getting the ones that I said earlier. Okay. Next on the list is eucalyptus. Oh, this one smells like when you have a bad cold and you're congested and you need some, like you... When your mom used to put the Vicks on you and rub you down. That is what it smells like. And. It's nice clean. Clean, I think. Scent, though. And the description is soothing, medicinal, and fresh. There you go. Next on the list is another self-explanatory name. Fresh cut grass. And there you go. That's what it smells like. Fresh cut grass. Sensi's description is smells just like freshly cut fairway on a cool summer morning. So there you go. That one's just what the name says. And I like it. It smells nice. I know Tom, my other half will be ordering this one because he voted for it. Okay, we've got three more to go. So let me hurry up before I'm almost at 25 minutes. This one is called Happy Birthday. It's pink and it smells like a birthday cake. Sensi's description is a candy-licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. Extract. Whatever I said. Yeah. It smells like a birthday cake with frosting on it. It's nice. I say that about all of them. I'm not trying to just tell you it's nice. They're, I really think they are nice. But you can tell the ones I really like by my... Whatever. Okay, this one is another pink one. It's like a bubblegum pink, I guess you could say. The name of it is Lemons and Berries. And I like this one. I might order this one. This is going on my order list. It's lemons and berries. It's fruity. I can smell the lemon, but I can also smell the fruity parts. Sensi's description is juicy strawberries and red currants cut with a blast of zesty citrus. Blech. Yeah. I like it. I like that one a lot. I like it a lot. And last but not least, we have this pretty bluish green, I guess kind of a sea, sea blue. It's called Maui Mist. Hmm. I can't even just tell you what I think it smells like. It has a nice smell. I'm not sure that I would order it, 
but it has a nice scent. All right, so the description of it is creamy bouquet of rose, lilac wood, and musk drizzled with creamy vanilla. So there you go. There's your 25 that you can choose from for the month of July only. And I got to smell this one again. Huckleberry heaven. Because it smells delicious. Okay, I'll stop smelling my favorite ones now. Get on with the show. They are this 3 for 14. This is U.S. prices, of course. 3 for 14. Six bars for 25. That's buy five, get one free. Or you can buy all 25 for 110. So, if you'd like to order any, get a hold of me and we'll, we'll get that happening. And um, they are available for purchase from July 1st to July 31st only. If you're local to me, I am having a sit and sniff party. If you want to know information about that, if you don't know already, contact me and I will let you know all about that. So, I better get off here now because I'm at 26 minutes. But here you go. There it is. Bring back my bar. Talk to you later. Bye.